No, why not? No. No, it's not. We are just talking. It's just that's talking. That's right. So, guys, after giving you a beautiful and a good tour of this mega project of Malawi, uh, just uh, you saw her calling me. Babe, come, come, come. At least I'm here with some friends from here. Yeah. I think yeah. you can introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Cien. Uh huh, Cien. I live here. You want to work in Malawi? You want to work in Malawi? Yeah, I'm from Malawi. Yes. Oh, wow, wow. So, but uh, we have a uh, other sister of ours who who doesn't like camera? She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but don't you can't. Don't bring it here. Don't bring it here. Take, but take her here. yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So, bro, I was asking this question. Maybe it's somewhat complicated. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have another guy, um, another brother of ours. Well, who's here, not well. come. Yeah, you can take him because he's Malawi, right? Yeah. No, he's, you, he's want Malayan, take, but you want to take the real picture of Malawi? At least for for him, he has that rights. Right, he has that those rights who protect okay. him to right, be in right. camera. Yeah, yeah, because he's not good. He's not well mentally. So, yeah, I don't think I can show him. Yeah, because he has his rights. Yeah, and of course I have to respect him. I understand him. So. Yes, let's Listen to whatever you're telling me. I'm back from this side. Yeah. You know, seeing the beauty of, yeah. of the queen. So we'll have to switch off and then come back, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. so, oh, he has gone. Uh, so guys, uh, whenever you're making a video and you meet a person who is not well mental, at least you have at least to, to respect him. Mm -hmm. Don't show him on camera because he doesn't have that uh, capability of, or ability of telling you no don't put me uh, don't put me in your camera because because our sister is well mentally she was like don't please don't bring your camera here so yeah so bro i was asking mm. it's somehow complicated it's not even complicated for a person maybe who wants to know about malawi who wants to visit malawi mm. what can he expect to see in malawi what can he come to to enjoy in Malawi? Mm. Yeah. Well, well, that's a very good question. Uh -huh. um, I must admit, um, Malawians are the most friendly of people, so I must say. Definitely, definitely. Even, yo, bro, you agree, uh, let, right? me tell you, uh, mm. let me tell something before you continue. Mm. Before coming here, because me, I've been with a lot of Malawian students, sure. a lot of uh, Malawian stu uh, people, because at university, I did my university studies in Zanzibar. Okay. I was with a lot of Malawians. Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. So, before coming, I told my girlfriend that we are going to a country you will be enjoying like hosp 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 hospitality. Hosp oh yeah, hospitality. Of the highest level. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you, among all the countries that I've been in, mm. Malawi is still the best for me. Thank you. Hospitality of people is still on higher level. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah, sure. Continue though. Ah uh, yeah. yeah. Um. As I said, uh -huh. earlier said uh, that you 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 have the most uh, the best welcome in Malawi. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sure. And. Um, Hospitality, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, as well, um, in Malawi, there's a um, good life, as in a lot of tourist attractions. Uh, if you are new to Malawi, there are a lot of places to see. Uh -huh. uh, like my friend here said, mm -hmm. uh, there's um, Mulanji Mountain to see, there's um, the lower Shire to see, uh -huh. the lake itself, okay. the highlands, lots of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so there's a plethora of uh, places you can visit if you're new to Malawi. Okay. Yeah. And if you are a big lover of Sima like Kungenzi Africa mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. oh, you better come. Yeah, you better come to Malawi, guys. Yeah, yeah Sima in Malawi uh -huh. uh, is in many forms. Okay. Ugali, as I said. Yeah, yeah. There's, in um, East Africa, we call it Ugali. Yeah, Ugali. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But you call it Sima, yeah. Uh -huh. So you can cook it from. I mean, you can prepare it from um, maize. Mm -hmm. um, you can also prepare it from. Uh, um, um, millet, okay. Um, cassava, you call it manioc as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so, yeah, Sima really depending on the surface. Because you should understand that Malawi is um, is a narrow country. Yeah, and okay. it extends a lot of kilometers mm -hmm. along the African continent, and especially the southern part. Mm -hmm. So it it captures some eastern parts of it, okay, and the southern parts of it. Oh. You also find some South African culture in it because mm -hmm. the, some migrated here. Okay. From the south, mm -hmm. and some Magadi from the north. So yeah, yeah pretty similar. It's pretty much a diversity of cultures. Wow. Actually, we have uh, more than twelve tribes in Malawi. So that should twelve. Give, yeah, sure. But your country seems like it's small, but yeah. it's narrow and long. Yeah. That's where you capture. Yeah. You know the strata. 
of yeah. all the people? Uh, some people uh, say that Malawi has uh, is designed into banana. Do you know a banana shape? Pretty much, it is, yeah. Yeah, mm. some people say that's what I'm saying. It's, it's a long, yeah. uh, it's not, it's, it's not uh, widely spread, yeah, but it covers a long, um, yeah, yeah along yeah. you know, it, it cuts along the strata, yeah, of African continent. Oh, uh, I think this is my like my first day here, mm. but something that I realized is Malawi is a country of full of opportunities. I mean business opportunities mm. because on Sunday uh, we went in, in, in city in city center yeah, sure. to look for where we can buy meat but they are telling us all the shops are closed they are closed because today is Sunday mm. so it's, it's already five I mean it's mm. past five so you guys can't get where you can buy I meat. must agree with you um, why most, most men would agree with me mm -hmm. but you as an outsider you have observed that fact Mm -hmm. That's why we have people from Burundi mm -hmm. and from other countries doing big business here. Okay. Because they have identified those gaps, yeah. which Malawians don't really see, identify. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Uh -huh. um, if they would have identified those, they would have been doing that. But I don't think they don't. And they do, actually. Um, so it's a very um, interesting um, uh, point from you, I must say. Mm -hmm. And I must admit that we Malawians must take a lesson from you. Okay. With that kind of point, because oh. there's the gap which mm -hmm. foreigners fill in. We have Indians, we have Burundians, Kenyans, yeah, yeah, Kenya, uh, here, Tanzanians who come here, here yeah. and fill those gaps. Okay. Because yeah, here we, we like to chill out this on Sunday, you know, mm -hmm. um, and we are not really, I don't think we are a really, really business oriented people. I must admit. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, another thing, I'm sorry, I'm just talking about uh, what I've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, Lilongwe is a beautiful city, but it still has a lot of unconstructed lands. Mm -hmm. So for those maybe who are oriented in the construction business, they can come and do big business here. Yeah, sure they will, but it must be admitted that we are not the poorest countries here. You are not? Yeah, yeah. No, it's speaking of resources and potentials, surely. But uh, speaking of, say, because people are trying to construct roads. Yeah. I know you're talking about the infrastructure. Are yeah. you not? Yeah, and I'm saying uh, Malawi, like other cities that I've been in, it's hard to see the spaces, I mean, the unconstructed spaces. Mm. So uh, I was telling and calling up on people mm. who want to come and invest in Malawi, those mm. who do construction business. Mm. Just we can come and uh, do apartments here. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what I Those wanted. are the gaps. I love yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There's indeed, I think you're right. There's indeed yeah. um, living space. Yeah. It's a very big problem, yeah? Definitely. Yeah, people have constructed a lot of things, uh -huh. but it really doesn't accommodate everyone. Definitely. Um, as you've said, it will be important that uh, if someone uh, can come here and um, construct, say, flats, mm -hmm. uh, uh, apartments, mm -hmm. that is big business. Because yeah. um, living space in Malawi yeah, is not impressive. It's, it looks like it's impressive, but I don't think it's, it's not impressive. Uh, if you have uh, a bit, that kind of business, one would make money, a lot of money, say constructing um, yeah, apartments, yeah, especially I've, high rise apartments. Yeah, I've mm. been in Nairobi recently and I s I've seen a lot of apartments. I mean, people, I mean, well, this apartment business mm. is one of the biggest businesses in, in Nairobi. Yeah, so, sure. Here in the in the long way, it's still possible. Yeah, sure like in, is, my, yeah. in my city, it's not too much possible because it's like a whole city. Mm -hmm. It's covered. It's covered. Yeah, yeah it's covered. It. Yeah, it's covered. Mm -hmm. But in Malawi, at least we have those. Yeah, we have growth. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. That's There's what potential what, for growth. Yeah, must admit. yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't think yeah. most people are seeing that. What you're saying, and it, uh, that's yeah. why I'm saying that uh, yeah. someone from outside looking in <laughs> will will would have would observe that, those kind of things and. Um, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that you're you're really using that, and that should give us a lesson as Malayans to learn from you that these are the areas we need to work on. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for me, but uh, I'm enjoying Malawi, bro. I mean, you got to. I'm really you got to. Enjoying it's, a, it's one of the best countries in the world. Yeah. yeah. But, but one of the poorest, I'm afraid. But still, one no, of the you're not poor. Let me tell you something. Malawi is not poor. Yeah. We Malawi have that, but is not poor. Let me, so. let me tell something. <laughs> let me tell something. Uh, let me tell something, guys. My country is 
ranked like uh, recently it we we are ranked like the poorest country yeah, in the world. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now recently they said that now we are second poorest country after uh, South Sudan. Mm. But I never accept that. Ah, Only Burundian yes. mindsets mm. are poor. Our mindset are poor, but our country itself it has a lot of opportunity, it has yes, a lot sure. of resources, it has a lot of things. If we get hmm. those right people well, that's interesting. to uplift my Burundi, Burundi will be on, on the sure. top. Well, I have to add on that one. Mm -hmm. um, now that you've said that, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's about the mindset to begin with. Yeah. And two, it's about the recording systems. Definitely. Because most of the businesses in Malawi are informal. Mm -hmm. Most people don't put them um, in yeah. the formal sector. So usually countries are ranked on that on the data right on yeah, the information yeah 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 so yeah. in the end if people are not submitting the information they just do business on the black market yeah informally yeah. that information never get to to the stats and that in the ranking surely Mari should be at the bottom of the list okay wow 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 bro you are clever I don't know if you know that. Oh, you are thank you. Thank I'm you. you. Oh, I'll take that as a, yeah. um, a, a compliment. <laughs> no, bro, you are. So this is a compliment. Let me tell you something, bro. Um, for me, I'm an African who really like and love Africa. Mm. I love Africa too. I don't know how I can tell you. Mm. Before, they're just uh, qualifying us. We African countries, mm. they're qualifying us as a poor countries just because they're just saying, in Malawi, a whole family uh, can spend, I mean, they are just living on two dollars mm. a whole day mm. as a whole family. Mm. But they were, they were forgetting that in the US, mm. those two dollars is nothing. But uh, like, like uh, ten, uh, 10 years back, mm. in Malawi, those two, dollar, those two dollars, you could, got, like, uh, you could get like uh, two kgs of uh, flour in Sima, mm -hmm. fish. Mm. beans mm. and everything in those mm. two dollars mm. mm. so those white people those people were coming here and saying yeah these people are poor because a whole country i mean a whole family can just spend two dollars mm. they there was nothing about the value of those dollars in Mal in malawi in malawi yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah here food is not expensive like mm. Like that's in their why. countries. Yeah, yeah. That's why they were saying that we are poor, you are poor because we just spend, a, a, I mean, a few dollars. Mm. But at least now, after realizing that Africans are waking up, are just opening their eyes, mm. they're just saying, uh, they just put inside in terms of GDP. Mm. They say, yeah, your GDP is low, your GDP is low. So, but what I can tell you, Africa itself is not, it's not poor, but we, our mindsets are poor. Yeah. So all of us as Africans, we have to wake up, we have to open our minds, we have to open our eyes and know that if not us, who try to, lift, uh, to, uh, to uplift our motherland, mm. no one will come and lift our Africa. Sure, that's true. And yeah. I must admit that, um, no, we had a president called Dingwam Tarigan. Uh -huh. He was of the same view. That, that Malawi, was a uh, brother of Peter. Peter yeah, Tarigan. sure. Yeah, that was yeah, right, yeah, the, yeah. the older brother of Peter. Yeah. Um, he had the same, same mandate as they are saying here, the mindset. Oh. Yeah. And um, he, he really, um, oh, okay. he has really taught us that that mm -hmm. um, Malawi are not poor, but we are poor in our head. Malawi is not poor. And yeah. uh, I must agree with that because there are so many resources. Yeah. We have all the fresh water we can, we can get. Yeah, we have. We can do what if we have the land. We yeah. Have one actually, not just the land, but arable land. Yeah, definitely. Which is definitely, a very, very important part. Definitely. But it's the mindset which is the poor. Yeah, the thinking. I'm. I'm afraid. I must admit, we Malawians, we have a problem in our mindset. It must be said. I'm afraid to say that. But hey, that's all it is, Nick. But. No, no, Malawians. Those not, are different. Only, not only Malawians, bro. Let me tell you something. Even in Burundi, yeah, people, much. whoever comes in Burundi, mm. see Burundi, sees Burundi as a land of a, a lot of opportunities. Mm. But mm. as Burundians, we are yeah, blind. We can't okay. see those opportunities. At least nowadays, uh, there's there's some young generation. I mean, some young people who are trying to. To open uh, oh, minds yeah, of people, yeah, yeah. yeah, like us, we are just moving around Africa and at least try mm. to talk to some Africans, mm. show them the beauty of our motherland, show mm. the uh, the beauty of our motherland to the world. 
Well, but not only Malawians brought us. I must admit that in the end, it's mm -hmm. about acceptance of our heritage. Yeah, yeah. But I think yeah. as Africans, particularly Malawians, I will speak for Malawians. I don't speak okay, for sure, Africans. Sure, I'm sure. a friend. Because you're Malawi. Yeah. Um, as Malawians, we have never accepted our our inheritance, our heritage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we we always aspire for some things which you cannot, which are not in our grasp, mm -hmm. and we don't accept our heritage. Mm -hmm. yeah? I'll give for example, mm -hmm. um, Lake Mau is one of the most beautiful lakes you can ever be to. Yeah, very beautiful, bro. Yeah, very it. beautiful, and it's but our long. our exposure of it to the rest of the world is quite meager and minimal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's pathetic, I must admit. Mm -hmm. So this has um, made us not use our really available resources to good use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has left us in poverty, but yet we have all the best things around. Mm -hmm. And we wouldn't blame it on um, other people, I must say. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's us who should really work hard and um, turn those over. resources into um, uh, the, um, our own uh, God, should I say so? Yeah, 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 yeah. But a question for you. Uh -huh. You seem to complain about people from uh, Burundi. Having no, she, die, oh, um, okay. she doesn't like camera, my, my sister here, also, but like, you can at least hear her voice. Mindset, they say. Uh -huh. But there was a, one of the groups of people that are doing so well in business in Malawi. How is that so? They're not doing well in their own country, but another, another nation they're doing well. Of course, of course in Burundi there are some people who are doing well in Burundi. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot. Mm -hmm. But comparing to the wealth of our country mm. comparing to the richness or man, i mean how can i say it potential Those, uh, yeah potential fortune of our country mm. it's not enough for me it's not enough mm. yeah because our country we have tanganyika lake mm. we have uh, we have a silver day we have a lot of mineral resources mm. we have kibira forest we have a lot of opportunities but still our country is ranked mm. like the second poorest mm. in the country, okay. I mean in the whole the world. world. Yeah. Is that not because of the wars and the life? Yeah, of course, that's one of the things, but still, I'm not satisfied with that reason, mm. because uh, out there, there's a lot of countries who uh, that passed through wars a lot. Let me just give you an example of Rwanda. Mm. Rwanda, uh, after genocide, that Rwanda was nothing. Mm. I don't know if you, sometimes you, you read about history. Mm. But nowadays, Rwanda is one of the countries that are given like examples of beautiful countries in the whole world. Not mm. only Africa, in the whole world. Mm. Of course, there are some people who are going to attack me by saying, why have you promoted the Rwanda? Why? Bro, I'm not promoting Rwanda. I'm promoting countries of Africa. I'm promoting the whole Africa. If I'm saying Rwanda, it's like I can say Singapore, but unfortunately, Singapore is not mm -hmm. in, in Africa. Chinese, uh, Chinese people, they're very, very poor. They were very, very, very poor. They were nothing. Sure, they were right. poorer yeah. than even uh, they were poorer than even Burundi. Yeah, during the Chinese Malawi. operation, they were very poor. I've seen the the footage. Yeah, mm. but now they are just they are just comparing themselves to US. Mm. That's why I tell you our mindset. It's about the mentality. We can just keep on saying we passed it through wars, 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 wars. No, mm. for me, I'm not satisfied with that pretext or that reason. Yes, yeah, sure. Because a lot of countries have passed through wars. If it was reason, Malawi haven't experienced the world, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, no, they haven't. But still, you are taken like a, a poor country. Abba. Huh? Nah. So, for me, Burundians, Malawians, Kenyans, South Africa, but at least South Africa mm. is, is somewhere. So, we have all to wake up and to, to work for our, sure. our motherland. I must agree with you. Even leaders, even, I think this message I'm just directing to the leaders because they're the ones who are killing our mother, our yeah, motherland. Yeah, because yeah. the leadership is very important. Yeah. Um, in general, as in Africa, as you said, we know that we have the voices, but usually we are setting them raw 
to the industrialized countries, but we need to get to that level of industrialization to realize our dream. And yeah. um, and as of now, we can take advantage of the technologies we have, which have been developed, the discoveries, and use them to our own advantage. Now that our things are raw, I think we can do a better thing the, than those um, who had who had done them earlier. Yeah. That's my opinion. Yeah, but uh, as a Burundian who loves Malawi, mm. <laughs> uh, of course I've been saying about these opportunities. Yes, yeah, sure. But this, you Malawians, mm. you are the ones to stand up and show the world the opportunity that you have, so that they can come and invest here. Yeah, the, the onus is on us. That's like I said. Yeah. It's about the mindset, and the, the onus is on us. We are we are responsible for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially our generation. Yeah, my definitely. generation. Yeah, yeah. We, we are responsible to to take this country to another level, to take this continent to another level, and um, treat ourselves as equals with the others who actually who need our resources. Mm, do you know why I say, I tell you this? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to tell you that. When I posted on my Instagram that I want to travel to Malawi, mm -hmm. I saw two messages telling me that uh, even myself, I'd like place. to visit the country, but the country seems dusty, seems dirty. Mm -hmm. It seems that like there's no even mm -hmm. where a people can just get sure, accommodation. Sure. But after arriving here, I went to the area 44. Mm -hmm. That video I'm going to release today, area 44, 43, 43 I yeah. saw it's... It's so the, poshy. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Very nice. But yeah. no Malawians, I, pro, I show those areas to the world mm. so that they can, those investors, they can know if we go in Malawi, we get a good hotel, we get yeah. accommodation, Airbnb, where we can sleep well and nicely. So... Yeah, well, you know, that comes with... Um, it's, a, it's about the majority. Yeah. What we have seen mm -hmm. is a very tiny majority, mm -hmm. I mean the tiny part of Malawi, mm -hmm. but the majority are living in ab abject poverty. Okay. If you had to go to um, other areas, mm -hmm. or even in Longe, like I said, there's Ntandere there. Okay. It's a quite a squalid um, area. Okay. There's plenty of squalor there. Mm -hmm. If you go to Blanta, you see places of squalor as well. Okay. Pretty much slums. Yeah? But uh, bro, let me tell you something. Mm. That's what I said that um, for me it's that thing that is killing Africa. Let me tell you in the US, they have those bad, dirty, not good areas, yeah. but you never see them promoting them. Sure, about sure, them. sure. I they get just you. show yeah. that positive Lots side. Of, yeah, yeah. So that people can be impressed. I want to go there. Start yeah. purchasing yeah. visa, giving mm. them those money mm. of visa, trying to, to go and invest there. But as Africans, we just keep on focusing on that small small areas those that areas mm. this artists keep promote i uh, keep on promoting those positive things that we have so that they can feel calm and they invest here so that this well, our countries can stand let up let us you must understand this i'm afraid to say corruption is what is killing us um this is a, a certain mentality and um, I, I, I don't know how to put it but those who are in the rich upper, you know there are rich people here very rich people in yeah. the world by the they are very a very 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 Countable, small yeah. you know, a very small population uh -huh. and those people don't want those who are in the other part of Malawi to be with their level that's I must I must say that my friend yeah 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 that's it's why you true, see bro. that it's true, bro. that's why you see that we have um, better infrastructure in the same mm -hmm. but in the very same you say where I'm saying the squalor you see that nobody cares. Yeah? The same people who are, because those are people who are in charge of making my grow. Okay. But they're not uh, interested in uplifting those lives who are in squalor. Yeah. So, to me, uh, we have uh, it's, uh, a very, di a very problem, problematic disease, which is called corruption. Corruption, yeah. yeah. And the corruption is the only thing that is killing Africa. Surely. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes you can. Uh, sit and keep on debating, debating mm. what can be the solution. Mm. Bro, solution is just to fight against corruption. Then Africa will be where it deserves to be. Mm. Yeah. I, I totally agree with it. And um, it's nice that you guys have visited Malawi and um, compared, I mean, like, ex uh, see for yourself what's in it. You have seen that it's a beautiful country, it, it has a lot of potential. Uh, and I know you have been to nicer places. Yeah. But I want us also to see 
is the bad places so they can make a very good conclusion yeah that's why i was uh, asking the sister here mm -hmm. that just right here we have uh, some squalor squalor squalid places mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. even if you go to blanta just cast and visit in the one day mm -hmm. visit chilomoni visit zingwangwa you see the other side of Malawi. Also visit Namioa, visit uh, Michiru, visit PCA, visit uh, Sunside, whatever. Those are the Porsche areas, people um, um, having nice lives, you know. Here in Yong, we have said, you have seen the places, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So for me, it's about e equalizing the world. That's where the problem is. Mega wages. People, I can, I can assure you that you see people who are receiving more than, say, um, Twenty thousand dollars a month or ten thousand dollars a month in dollars. Mm -hmm. I won't say in question because it's always. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they are giving their workers say um, twenty dollars a month. Hmm? That's that's why they say there's serious inequality in wealth sharing. So yeah, I think if unless ourselves we improve on how we see each other. Who will never get there at the beginning, or only a few will get there. So I think what we need, what we we need is that kind of leadership that think of all people, the whole community. We need a revolution. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. We need uh, a revolution. <laughs> if we said a revolution, that's just a revolution in a positive way. Mm -hmm. We are not here to to demolish what we constructed. No, 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 no. By demonstrating, no, no, we don't want this president. We don't. No, 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 no. But we are, not, talk mindset, we are not talking about the presidency, yeah, but sure. we are talking about the leadership. Mm -hmm. In yeah. general. Yeah, in general. Because it's not about the government. Yeah. It, it, even it also people, goes down yeah, to companies, citizen, yeah, companies, to households. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely. Yeah. But, we yeah. have to. Um, we have to really uh, lift this veil. I mean, this uh, curtain, which is really blocking our development. Definitely. Code corruption. Yeah. Code. Uh, nepotism, Greedness. Called greed, greed yeah, 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 and yeah. called inequality. If we get rid of these curtains, I'm sure we will get there. Definitely. Yeah. So, bro, thank you very much. I really appreciate it for this talk. You. Are it was very, very nice. Yeah, yeah, I also bro. appreciate that um, you've come here, and um, I know you're, you're here to watch your, your match, but it's uh -huh. um, for me. It's um, it's a pleasure to meet. Um, people from other countries yeah. yeah who appreciate our country as well as share their their their, their experiences with their own countries yeah definitely yeah. but um i didn't just here to i didn't come here to, to watch football oh, of course i know i came even before football when i came oh, to malawi <laughs> i didn't even know that uh it's going to happen a game here oh really yeah okay i uh, malawi was, i know you are vloggers yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, so very we are welcome with your ideas and and I know that you also expose our country to other people yeah. who say see, and see us under. And we do appreciate the beauty of Malawi. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, they also appreciate the predicament we are in. Because it's important that they appreciate that as well if they are to invest in Malawi. Yeah, yeah definitely. Sure. So if you're watching this and maybe you've, you've been thinking about coming to Malawi, I can just assure that Malawi is a good country, it's a positive country. Everyone's welcoming people Malawi. Oh, People of Malawi, guys, they are always <laughs> like this. Mm. Their arms are always open for foreigners. They sure. jump, they're not just <laughs> ignorant to foreigners. When they see you, they try to, at least to show you that mm. you are home. They try mm. to make you feel home. Sure. Like sure. for me, I, just, like, I don't even want to live in Malawi. That's our positive. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you very much, brother. OK, thank so, you. So come visit Malawi, come invest in Malawi. So let's meet in another episode. Peace out.